All right, so you know we've loaded some images, we've displayed them, and this is great, but what if we don't want the whole image? What if, for example, like this demo here, like we wanna have portions of an image rather than the whole thing? Um, you could, ahead of time, go into Photoshop or GIMP or something like that and crop your image, um, but maybe we wanna be able to do this more kind of on demand in our code, and luckily we can do that really easily with P5.js. Um, so again, uh, I'm gonna quickly here make a folder, make a fast forward if you don't wanna have to see all this, upload a file, boom, boom. Of course, if I was smart, I would have already done this for us. Okay, so we've got this guy here and um, I'm gonna quickly add loading my image. Super, okay. So we've got this guy here. Um, and then um, let me just add no loop. Okay, super. Now we're ready to roll. Um, if we wanted to, we could just display our image full size. There it is, it looks pretty good. But let's say we wanna get a portion of this image. Um, we can use a command called get. And get lets us um, specify a portion of the image, uh, and we're going to do it from an x and a y position. So we've got our x and our y here. Well, hard to write <laughs> with this little thing. Um, and then we can specify a width. It's a little hard to read that red. Sorry about that. A width and a height from this. Um, and then that's going to create um, a new, we can create a new variable that's this portion of the image that's not the whole thing, which is going to be really helpful. So let's say we want to um, just grab maybe this upper left quadrant of the image. So I want to have this part of the image. Ah, <laughs> drag bag got stuck. Okay, so uh, I'm going to create a new variable called left corner. And this is, I'm going to use the dot syntax again. So img.get. And just like thinking about rectangles and screen coordinates, um, I want to think about what my numbers are here. So I know this corner is 0, 0. And then I want to go half of the width and half of the height. So this would be img.width, remember, um, you know, we can specify or we can get the dimensions of this image um, using, again, dot syntax. So img.width divided by two, img.height divided by two. Um, and the reason I'm using img.width is that the dimensions of my image might be different than the dimensions of my canvas. And so this way I'm ensuring I'm getting what I'm expecting. Um, my left corner here. Okay, so I've got X and Y width and height, and then I can just draw this image. And let's go ahead and uh, let me put a background back on here. So now you can see I've got this portion of this image. We're drawing it where it's supposed to be or where it was originally, but if I do it here, now we'll see that it's gonna draw it in a different place, which is pretty cool. Um, so let's let's think about more creative ways then that we could use this. Um, you know, just grabbing a square and drawing it in place maybe is not what we're after, but we could do it within a for loop. So um, let's say uh, let's say we want to draw a bunch of strips from this image. We can grab a random strip and then draw it and kind of make this collage thing from it. So I'm going to start y at zero, um, or let's. Yeah, let's do it at zero. Y is less than height. Y plus equals 10. And our strips will be 10 pixels tall. And then we want to pick a, a, a random Y point within our original image. So actually, for the sake of us seeing what's going on, let's bring this back. So here's our image here. And what we want to do is we want to randomly pick a Y point, And then we're going to grab a 10 pixel strip and then draw it in place, and it's sort of like shuffling it around. So I'm going to uh, create a variable called strip y position. And um, this will be a random number between 0 and img.height. I'm going to shrink this just for a sec here. Um, 
Now, this is the same as in the last example. We probably don't want to start grabbing pixels from down here um, because we're going to specify you know, that point and then 10 pixels down to get the strip. And P5JS may yell at us if we try to grab pixels that don't exist. So in this case, just like before, I'm going to do img.height minus 10. This is the size of my strip. This would be a great place for us to create a variable so that we could change the parameters really easily. Then the last thing that we need to do is um, we need to convert this, or um, this is a process called casting. We need to cast our variable, our random number from a floating point or a decimal number to an integer or a whole number. And the reason is that we can't access pixel 200.2. Um, that doesn't exist, right? Um, we only have a, you know, it's, it's like counting eggs or uh, candy bars or something, right? Like, um, well, maybe that's not a great example because you can have half a candy bar, but um, persons, maybe, I don't know. Anyway, uh, we can't have a half pixel location, so we are going to convert it from, remember, random creates a floating point number. We're going to convert it to an integer. So oh, that's a long way of saying we're grabbing a random Y position within our image, and then we're going to create a strip using img.get. And this will be, the X position will be zero because we want to go all the way across. Our Y will be strip Y position. And then the width will be the full width of the image. And the height will be 10. And then we can draw that strip at zero and our Y position within our for loop. And that way we're going to draw all the way down. It's going to grab a random strip and place it down our image. And let's see, let's pull this back over. Pretty cool. And then when we run this again, we get a different result because it's random. And so this does this like weird distortion thing, but it keeps the X position of stuff kind of all in the, in the right place, um, which I think is kind of fun. So you could think about um, other ways of extending yet um, to, you know, we did strips. You could imagine like a random grid of images. You could think about doing vertical strips or maybe um, random uh, strips in the Y position and randomly X so that it kind of creates this overlap sort of thing. Lots of cool ways to think about this. Um, so that's get, which extends uh, what we did before. And like I said, in the end today, we'll kind of um, synthesize all this together into an example. But already, hopefully, this gives you some visual ideas of what's possible to create co uh, collages in code.